Hey YouTube. All right, y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm on the uh, elliptical and taking time out to do some cardio. And I'm at the LA Fitness over Church Church Street in Decatur. So just trying to get that workout in, but I don't want to disturb nobody next in the film what I'm doing so y'all just gonna see me on screen so let me see I guess y'all can see I don't know I guess if I get me a selfie stick I'm gonna do that so anyway cardio is just a small component of working out and Along with that, strength training. Now normally I don't, I would have some kind of headsets on, listen to some music, or better yet, look at TV. We got TV on the screen. So, I went on the scale. Like I said, it could have been worse in regards to the amount of weight I would have gained. But one of the important things is proper nutrition and fuel. Right now, I need to drink some water because I am dying of thirst. So I'm here trying to get this thing. And I'll go ahead and in another video, I'll post my stats and my figures and my goals. So, normally, I would try to work out earlier in the day. But today, I was waiting for someone to come so they could do my yard and next thing you know it was time for me to start grow up so I don't like working out late 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 at night so right now it's about a little bit after six o'clock and most likely my schedule Will change when I go back to work. And like I said, by mid April, I will be working. And because I joined LA Fitness with a statewide club, I can go to anyone. I don't have to go to one particular location. So that's a good thing. And there are plenty of LA Fitnesses all over Atlanta. Now, the reason why I like LA Fitness is because, one, they got a pool, two, they got a variety of classes, and three, four, the price is pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, I don't need to hire okay, no personal trainers because, you know, when you first join, they always trying to give you a fitness assessment and from that they always trying to discuss some kind of personal training now I've had higher personal training plenty of times in the past so I don't need to go and hire a personal trainer everything that I learned throughout the years I could do myself I'm going to look at some of the classes because I usually like doing classes. I don't like machines too much. But when you're looking for a quick and you don't have you in between deliveries or doing Uber or Lyft, always trying to get in because 
sitting in that car all day long. You know, you can put on weight very easily. And also you have to look at the liquid calories. Sometimes you're thinking that, well, I'm not eating that much, but look at what you're drinking. Now, I know I was guilty because when I left the house, I had, I was hungry. I had that one little apple and that apple wasn't doing much of nothing. And then I just had to go to Chick-fil-A because I was like hungry. And I only ate a bowl of cereal this morning. So that wasn't enough food to eat. And that's not good. Another thing I'm gonna be doing is once since I'm not doing Uber no more. I'm gonna take off that app and remove it. And I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna go back to my fitness pal. My fitness pal allows you to keep track of your food. And when I was keeping track of my food, I lost a lot of weight because I was conscious of what I was eating. I was conscious in terms of how much carbs and how much fat and calories so go to my fitness pal and it provides a great resource on that website and I also want to invest me back into my fitness garment I had one but it was the battery was dead and then I really want to get a more updated one I don't want to buy no Apple watch and pay 300 something dollars and then lose it and then I'll be crying but I'm going to invest in um, one of those fitness devices I'm going to buy me one I deserve it and I know y'all can't see my face so whew, dang Whew. man I'm burning up I'm sweating up a storm but anyway just keep grinding y'all the same way you could grind and doing these food deliveries and Uber, Lyft, take time for yourself. Take time for your health. Ain't no point of driving all day, all night, you know, and then not taking time out. You don't have to do an hour of exercise every day. You know, just walk. One thing I can say for sure is when doing Instacart, I am constantly walking. And I'm walking fast throughout that Publix. So, you can really get a good workout just by walking around, you know? But, all right, y'all. What time is it? Let me see. I've been on here for eight minutes. Ooh. And my block starts at seven. So, I'm going to continue on working out, exercise, turn back, go back into doing Grubhub. It's from 7 to 10. The gym closes at 11, I believe. I think they close at 11. Yeah, they close late on the weekdays because they tend to close at 11 o'clock. But on Saturdays and Sundays, they close like 8. So I'm going to just keep on grinding, y'all. And build back my endurance so I could go ahead and climb up Stone Mountain in a couple weeks. I love doing Stone Mountain. I don't know if y'all seen the backdrop earlier in my other video. I almost posted and see. <coughs> and, whew. and also to keep track of your fitness, keep the gym bag in the trunk. If you keep your gym clothes with you and you got like say 30 even if it's 30 minutes 30 minutes you could break it up too you can do 30 minutes in the morning when there's slow time you can do 30 minutes in the evening there's no rule to say that you have to work out <coughs> constantly in one session <coughs> So you do 30 minutes 
park in the morning 30 minutes in the evening and bring you some hand weights or something um do that you know but I tell you the most important thing is your diet and I don't like to say diet but it's your eating and I'm gonna have to start bringing way more food with me because if I had something substantial I wouldn't never went to that Chick-fil-A but I don't know but at least you know what Chick-fil-A is probably one of the better places to eat now I could eat a salad to be honest Chick-fil-A do sell salads and but I said yeah I just needed me a chicken sandwich and it could have been a grilled chicken sandwich too but I told them no butter on the bread no pickle and it's just that just don't do it every day so all right y'all it's about 11 minutes I've been on here so can you pick up the pace Ooh. I'm on this machine I'm gonna show y'all at the end but I'm on let me see and It's a good machine, I can tell you. I'm doing the program of Rolling Hills. And let me see, my heart rate is at 133. Let me see what it is. 135. Oh, 135. Heartbeats per minute. That means 136. One thirty seven, one thirty eight, one thirty nine, one forty, one forty two. See, I said I'm climbing up these hills. My heart rate's going up, and it's going up and up. One forty four. Now, your heart one forty four, <coughs> one forty three. Okay. About to reach the pinnacle part. Now, the heart rate is important because you want to keep it up because that's the fat burning zone. So, anywhere for me, based on my age, fitness level, my heart rate needs to be anywhere between 130 to 140 beats per minute for it to be in the fat burning zone. So, that's where you want that's where I want to be at. And going through a lot of personal trainers, I would know that. Alright, y'all. This video is gonna be long. So let me go ahead and record it and post it. I'll talk to y'all later.